Now, meteorologist Rachel Bryant with KLBK's first morning weather. It was hot out there today, and temperatures are still warm. I actually just took my dog for a walk not too long ago, and it is still pretty steamy out there. But let's take a look outside and see what we saw all day here in Lubbock. Now, Basically, just partly sunny skies. We had a little bit of cloud cover come on through, but still seeing a lot of sunshine, which in turn really helped to heat us up. Temperature right now coming in at 81 degrees. Humidity up at 41 percent. Also, a little bit breezy today. Winds were coming in anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures across the board also still in the 70s and 80s. So. You might need that AC tonight because temperatures are really starting to climb. We're talking 78 in Florida, 81 here in the Hub City, and 81 in Rawl. So it's going to be warm. Low tonight only dropping to around 70 degrees. So it's definitely feeling like summer. We're getting kind of into that pattern. Now, across our radar, not seeing anything. We're seeing just some. Partly cloudy skies tonight. Not expecting much rain either as we head into the next couple of hours. Our next rain chance, though, starts as we move into tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. But for most of the day, we are going to be mostly sunny. So we're still going to see a lot of sunshine. And make sure you go outside and really enjoy it because that's going to start to change as we move into Friday. So we could see a little bit of isolated activity around on a Thursday night and then into Friday. Our bigger rain chance comes into play. We're talking around a 50% chance of rain there and then another rain chance on Saturday as well. But tomorrow, here's a look at our severe weather outlook. Here's where we, where we are in the marginal risk area. What that means, we have a slight chance to be seeing some severe thunderstorms. It's a very low chance, though. If we do see any main threat, it's going to be 60 mile per hour wind gusts and one inch in diameter hail. But if we do see the severe storms, it's going to be on the lower side. We're not talking super intense storms right now. We just don't really have the atmosphere for that. But that might change as we head into Friday. So we do have this low pressure out near California, and that's going to continue to push towards Texas as we move into the next couple of days. Also, we are going to have a front move through Friday as well. So this front is going to give us some lift as well as this low, and then we have a lot of moisture being pumped in as well. So when you put all that together, that adds up to some thunderstorms likely pushing into really Friday morning into the afternoon. It's going to be a very rainy day. So grab those umbrellas. You might not need them tomorrow, but check it out. Friday, there's your rain chance, 50%. Possibly could be dealing with some severe weather on Friday. That looks like our strongest day of the week. And then Saturday and Sunday, it kind of stair steps down. We are going to be dropping a little bit throughout the week with rain chances, but it's going to continue all the way into next week. So again, enjoy the day tomorrow. Enjoy the sunshine because the rain is making a comeback here into the South Plains. Also going to be warm tomorrow into the 90s again, 10% chance for some isolated storms, especially in the evening, late afternoon hours. Here's a look at your next seven days. Like I said, tomorrow we're in the 90s, but the rest of the week we're dropping down into the 80s, which actually... It's going to be a nice break. I do have to say, standing out there a little bit earlier, we were out um, out at Lowe's Supermarket, and it was a little warm yeah, out there. I was, you were even in the shade, too. I know. I was even in the shade, and I was, I was definitely glistening at that point. I was like, it is hot out here, but dropping into the 80s. So we have a little bit of a break, and, but also well, some rain. I was about to say, and the rain. Like, I mentioned this at 6 o'clock after you had left. I mean, there's, this thing's way too busy. You got all these it numbers is. and everything, just all but those chances of rain are confusing me. Over whenever there. we get into July and August, it's going to be like and sun I, and I was 90. About to say, yeah, you can, you can do that forecast in about 15 minutes. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, Rachel. All right, coming up on KLBK, nearly four months after separation surgery, the Mata twins are finally both out of the hospital. That story when your KLBK News continues.